1.1f. Whole numbers and decimals. Subtract decimals. When subtracting decimals, we must line up the decimal or place values. This is the same process we used in both subtracting whole numbers and in adding whole numbers and decimals. It is important that we may need additional zeros so that we can ensure the numbers are lined up. Once again, we will place the decimal in the answer by bringing it straight down. Example 1. We start by writing the first number, 3.4, and then the second number, ensuring that we are lining up both place values and decimal points which means we have 1.29. As you can see, there is a hole. We need to place a zero to ensure that our number has lined up properly. We now do zero minus nine, which seems to not be possible. This means we need to borrow. We cross out the 4, lowering it to a 3, and carry that 1 over to the 0. We now have 10 minus 9, which is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. We then bring down the decimal point, and the answer results in 2.11. In example two, we will repeat this process. We start by writing down the number 4.03. We then must subtract the second number. We need to ensure we line up the decimal places so that all place values are vertically over one another. Once again, we have an open space. These open spaces we fill with a zero. We can now subtract. Zero minus one means that we will need to once again borrow. We borrow from the three, making it a two, and carry the one. We now have 10 minus one, which is nine. Once again, 2 minus 5 is going to require borrowing. When we look at the next place, it seems as if you could not borrow, since it is a 0. We therefore have to go to the next place, or the 4. We borrow from here, making it a 3, and carry the 1 over 1 place. Now there is something to borrow from this 0, as it is now a 10. We borrow one from the 10, making it a nine, and carry that one to the place value that we needed to borrow for. We now have 12 minus five, which is now possible. 12 minus five is seven, nine minus zero is nine, and three minus zero is three. This results in the answer of 3.979. When subtracting decimals, remember you must first line up the decimal and place values, then you may need to add additional zeros, and bring the decimal straight down in the answer.